such as Roguewing, Coraline, or Helen R.D. over a Starship Modeler. Welcome to the workshop. Okay, so I lied. Said progress would probably move fairly quickly from this point. It hasn't, but that's not because of any problems I'm having with the model itself. It's problems I'm having just staying motivated to work on it. But that's just a matter of getting back to work and doing what needs to be done. Gotten a little more work done now. I've gotten all four sides now on both engines, bl engine blanks beveled with Aves. Those still need to be cleaned up a bit. Went in on the cockpit and with my Dremel, my Dremel, I trimmed up the control panels a little. I also went in noting that some, as it was noted, that some of the seats looked a little crooked. I went in and added some straight backs to them with some sheet styrene just to improve the overall look of the cockpit and to make the seats look a little less like uh, chopped up park benches, which gee, is what they are. I also, I don't know how well it's going to show here, glued a piece of styrene to the back to stand in for the cockpit door. As a final bit of progress for today, I got the beginnings of landing gear wells in. I've got these doors in place. I'm going to fill the other three sides with Aves just to complete the landing gear well. That way when the time comes I'll make the fittings to put the struts into the landing gear wells and uh, it'll be pretty much good to go. Still got some work to do on the nose section, but that's mostly to accommodate the cockpit and to increase the roof. What I mean is, I don't intend for the this whole thing to be canopy. Canopy will actually only be probably to about there from the front. So I've still got to fill in this whole section to give her a roof. time for a little brief update. I haven't been moving very fast on this, but things are still progressing. I've got the back wall now glued into the cockpit. To this point, that's pretty much ready for primer. Been working on the engine nozzles for both the engines on the main body and on the wing pods. What I'm going to do is, again, I'm going to take advantage of the fact that I go through syringes a lot. Don't worry, folks, I'm diabetic. It's not that I do drugs. But taking the outer cap to act as the outer rim and the cap that used to cover the needle, I've opened the end on. And it'll actually get inserted to create kind of a double nozzle effect. on both the engine pods and the pods on uh, on top of the fuselage. Speaking of the main body, realized one thing in my closing up the original landing gear doors, I had no boarding ramp. So what I did, took one of my scribing tools and using the old landing gear door as a guide went in and cut the lines for a new landing for a boarding ramp. I'll go in and fill my over for overruns before I do too much else. Still need to detail up the uh, landing gear doors. Probably put some kind of hinge looking thing to help set apart the uh, door from the rest of the bay. And I've also gotten the notches cut in the ends of the engines. Now, 
The forward end, I'm probably going to put grill work over, just like I am on the intakes of the on the wing pods. The back group, it's going to get come on, press fit. I'm going to insert the engine nozzles in. So basically, you get something akin to that on the back end. But that's where we're sitting. Admittedly, it's not much, but it is progress, and that's what I'm looking for right now. Who knows? Maybe I'll be able to throw this one into the all open on the big spring contest. We'll see. All right. Just a small little update. May not look like much, but what I've got here it took about an hour and a half to actually get done. I picked up a sheet of eighth inch birch plywood to make the wings and tail planes for CW here. Decided I'm going to take a break from make a break from the illustration and use the scrap from the from the wings as our vertical stabilizers. It'll give us a unique little profile. Granted, they're going to sit up kind of high, but I may chop them down. We'll see. The wings, on the other hand, will mate fairly well to the engines. The big problem with the wings was actually cutting out this notch, which I wound up doing with a combination of my Dremel and my razor saw. Actually, not my razor saw, but... Uh, this little Tamiya hobby saw that, as you can tell from the bends in the blade, has seen its share of abuse over the months. That's where we're sitting now. At this point, things should start progressing a lot faster.